Hello and welcome to Infinity. Last time we looked at selection and basically what it was about and creating the marching ants, the dotted lines that show an area of the screen that we can then apply something like an adjustment over here to make it look better and sort of change that just that area of the screen, not the whole screen. So now what I'm going to do is use, show you one of my favourite tools that I use quite a lot uh, and that is the selection brush here. So now the cursor here is fairly small, so I'm going to use the right square bracket to make it a bit bigger. And now when I paint here, so it's a brush, I paint, I am selecting where I paint. So if I want to select this here, this boat, I can paint around like this and cover that area there. But the problem is getting to the edges, so I'm going to use control and the mouse wheel to roll in. And now I can make the brush smaller with left square bracket and I can sort of paint up to the edges here as well. So this is a can be a real pain, particularly with a complicated object. So there's a better way of doing this. So I've hit control zero to get back out again. Select and deselect or remember control D to get rid of the marching ants. And the trick is to click on the snap to edges here. Now then, make the mouse uh, a little bit bigger, the brush a bit bigger there. Now when I do this, notice where it just jumps out. Sometimes it goes too far, but we don't worry about that. I'm just going to go around and get most of the boat, or the, the boat here. So, but this area is out here, but that's okay, because here I've got add and subtract. So if I click on subtract, I can just click on those areas there and it'll jump backwards into the boat or at least it tries to find another edge and you can fix this really quickly see how quickly it just goes oh it went too far and it, the second time it finds it so now what i could do is get something like over here remember there's things like the vibrance which i could turn this up here and make the colors brighter However, when you do this, a problem that you, you sometimes meet, is particularly if you want to turn something up a long way, is that the edge is going to be a bit hard. In fact, the easy way to see this is if I just delete that for the moment and go up here, remember to the quick mask. So I click on that and then control roll the mouse wheel in. See the edge of that is really hard. Yes, so that means when I do the vibrance here, so I Turn that off for a moment and I go back and do a vibrance and do the saturation there, for example. It's going to go right to those edges and it can it can look wrong, particularly if you're turning something up a long way for some reason. So there's another way that we can fix this as well. So let's just delete that for the moment. Control zero to go back out again. And that is this one here, which is soft edges. And that puts a feathering onto the edges of the selection. So it's often a good idea just to leave that on all the time. And snap to edges, you turn on and off as you need it. So now select, deselect, or Control D. Now if I paint over this again, it's, it's not painting. Why is it not painting? Because I got subtract on here. I need to have add. There we go. No painting, there we go. Now it's selecting this, and the edge of this will just be a little bit soft. Not a lot, but often enough. And I can paint this in here, and I can go to subtract and turn bits off. And a shortcut for that, if I if I stay on add, and I usually do that, is hold on the Alt key and then click to bring it back in again. So there's a book there, so I'll Alt click that red bit there, just at the edge and so on around here until you get the picture you want. If you're getting problems and it doesn't quite work, then turn off the snap to edges and then you can paint by hand and just get the edge that you want here that's approximately right. And where these things blend into other together, it actually doesn't matter too much. So now control zero, back out again, Go to the vibrance, 
I've got this open here, so I can just click on default to pick up this. And then if I turn up the saturation here to make that just the a bit brighter, I can get rid of this. In fact, let's just hit Control D. There we go, that got rid of the marching ants and the selection. And now I've got a boat here that's pulled out here. And because I made it brighter, that means it's going to be more attract more attention. So it makes it more the focus of the picture. Anyway, that's it. Very useful, the selection brush. And thank you very much for watching.